Okay, let's move on to the Hall of Fame, which was AK just turned into the Undertaker's TED Talk. Um, Dude, it was so <laughs> weird. It's just like, I, what are you selling me? <laughs> I mean, this is... Fine, I'll buy that hat. <laughs> <laughs> this was my first Hall of Fame, and I think I don't think they could have done a better job. So they had SmackDown, which was whatever, SmackDown. And then they're like, all right, we're going to go live. And they pretty much said 15-minute intermission, uh, which was cool. So you get to watch them set up the stage, and you watch all the wrestlers and people come out. So everybody who was anybody was on that stage. Obviously, our, it was really funny because obviously the crowd starts remembering you once you walk out of the stage. So people started chanting for RVD. <laughs> so nice. RVD, it, just being the asshole that he is, <laughs> steps gets stands up and goes and leads the crowd in an RVD chant. Of course he does. <laughs> Dude, how do you get how do you get them to shut up? You just acknowledge them for a quick second. Exactly. Because then they're gonna move on to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the dog a bone. <laughs> <laughs> but it was good. It it would the Hall of Fame was great. I thought everybody's Hall of Fame speech was really cool. Um I like that we we got the Steiners out of the way really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Queen Charmel's speech I thought was excellent. Um, all hell, Queen Charmel, as Booker T said a thousand fucking times. Um, Shad Gaspard's Warrior Award thing was, ooh, that was that was a hard one to not yeah, not like that yeah, video package. Oh boy, yeah, that was, and I do love that. Even though he was not invited to walk them down, JTG did take the initiative to walk his son and his wife to the ring. Mm-hmm. Which was cool, and then he did him and Shad's handshake with the son, yep. which I thought was yeah. also really. Cool. I also, I love that the son knew it too. Oh, of course, <laughs> they, they practiced it how many times in the back? <laughs> they, he's probably been doing it for years. Yeah, I mean, but the highlight of it all, I mean, besides, I mean, it was a very emotional. Obviously, Vader getting in as well. And they brought the Mastodon um, headpiece mm-hmm. there as well, but obviously, everybody was there for Taker. Earlier on that day, Taker had her statue revealed. And I was at the statue reveal, which is pretty awesome. Taker rode in on a fucking motorcycle. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Dude, Taker looks like he had so much fun this weekend. Was Taker that weekend? had so much so, so let me tell you about Taker at Superstore Access before we talk about Superstore Access. Taker um, brings a whole BSK that you can, that are still living. So mm-hmm. you have the Godwins. The Godfather. The Godfather, who just smoking vapes inside. No, does not give a shit at all. What's yeah, up. dude, he's, although he's in Texas, so you gotta be careful with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, Rikishi showed up. Uh, HBK, Michael Cole was the host. Um, Triple H showed up in his first public appearance since his uh, health issues came out. Mm. So that was, that was a big deal. Um, Michelle McCool and the, and Taker's children also came out as well. We had the reveal, um, and Undertaker just being so thankful and humble. And then I watched this, I didn't get, I didn't get closer, but I watched, I have pictures. I watched this man literally go around the entire crowd that was there at Superstore Access, shaking, either shaking a hand, signing something or taking a selfie. That's awesome. Yeah. He's like, he, dude, he, never, he never got to do this he before. Never had, he, yeah, he never had the opportunity to do that. And he, so he, you know what? He enjoyed it. Yeah. I'm glad, dude. I took, it makes me really happy. Yeah, it makes me really happy. It was, you know, like, the power about this man to hold. Like, I watched somebody break down and cry because they shook the Undertaker's hand. Yeah, dude, it's something you dream of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Because he never did public appearances. No. Ever. Never, never he did. He kept the character. Now he's just going to be a grandpa. He's like Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, he's just going to sit has field in his lab. He's going to give him gifts. Yeah, so we have that in the Taker statue. Oh, the Taker statue is amazing. <laughs> uh, but this Hall of Fame thing, I've never seen anything like this before. T- so remember when remember when we shit it on Roman for like ten minutes? Yeah. This was the reverse. Nice. It was a ten minute standing ovation from everybody. Wouldn't let him speak. Just 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 showering him with applause. It was unbelievable. And it was absolutely amazing. And then he delivers a fantastic speech. How long did he talk for? <laughs> A fair amount, but it wasn't even about the the length that he talked for because he I would I don't even know maybe fifteen twenty minutes, but it was the fact that it was, it was it was e- it was easily he had rehearsed this, but it was well paced. He had good timing. He knew when to be funny. He knew when to pander to the crowd. He knew when to like crack jokes at people. 
Well, you dude, know. let's be real. You know how many times he's written that speech? <laughs> 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 like, things I've learned. From, yeah, he better have it fucking down. <laughs> things I've learned from his speech. Undertaker likes red beans and rice. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, he loves red beans and rice. Um, he made a he made a great comment that stuck with me about failing forward. Oh, politicians. Mm-hmm. Politicians. Something like that. It's, it's fail forward. Yeah, uh, you fail up. You fail up. Yeah, which I thought was a really interesting thing to kind of. I uh, talk about um and it was it was fantastic uh he had some great he had some great stories about his daughters uh which I thought were really poignant that almost made him cry um and he ended it on a cliffhanger like the only only way the undertaker could never do, say never, never say never you, I was like you son of a bitch you got me again <laughs> but I was like Perfect. What a way to end. What a way to go. He came out both nights of WrestleMania uh, for the Hall of Fame uh, induction. So he looks like a cult leader in all black. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's just like, remember like, remember like the, uh, the guy from the original Dark, uh, Dark Order doing like the online like ads or whatever? Yeah. It's like that's what he dressed like. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's scary because like it's, he, he has a lot of power in, the, in those arms, dude. Like, but he's taken. He deserved every... Every bit of what happened. His uh his graveyard experience, which I went to, was really cool at Superstore Access. So let's